In chapter three, we're going to learn a whole wide variety of ways to numerically summarize data. Now remember, data are the information that we gather from our sample, right, from the individuals in our sample. And so we wanna find numerical ways, so numbers, right, that we can summarize. And that means we want a number that will help represent that data set, tell us something about that data set. All right, now the first one we're going to look at is section 3.1, our measures of central tendency. In other words, average. Because an average is where the center is. So measures of center, whoop, center, are measures of average. All right. All right, now the three that we are going to learn are ones that you've probably already seen in another class, which are the mean, the median, and the mode. We've actually talked about mean in some earlier sections, um, I believe in chapter two. So the mean is computed when you add up all the values of the variable in the data set and you divide by the number of observations, right? So you add them all up and divide by how many there are. So most people, when they think average, that's what they're talking about but it's actually only one type of average. There are actually lots of types of average. These are just three of them, there are more. The median is the numerical value that separates the lower half of the data set from the upper half of the data set. So it's the number that's in the middle when the data is in order or da data are in order. Right? So you'd have to first put your data set in order, and then you can find the middle number. And the mode is just whichever one occurs the most often. <laughs> right? We've already seen mode. Modal class, remember, um, is involved with this as well. Modal class is the class that occurs the most often when you're in grouped data. So when you're in a table of data that's grouped together, Right, so five to 10, 10 to 20, you know, or so on, right? Whichever one has the highest frequency is the modal class. All right, so then let's look at the mean, median mode for our class. So I asked a class full of students, I can't ask you on the internet, but I asked a class full of my students how many pets they had, and these were their responses. Oops, I already missed one. There's three, and then two, three, So this was an actual class, I, I promise. Oops, I'm running out of space. And there we go. So there were the number of pets every individual in that room had. So each of the students, this was what they had. So two pets, three pets, no pets, and so on. Which makes me sad when you have no pets. I always love um, my dogs, <laughs> they're right. All right, so we're gonna rearrange the class's data in ascending order. Ascending meaning going up, right? So ascend means you're going to climb. So we're gonna start at our lowest, which is zero. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So we put them in order, start way over here. And then we count the number of ones one, two, three, four, five, and put them in. And then we count the number of twos, and there are a lot of them, as I recall. So one, two, three, four, five. No, it's the same number as the ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then threes. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. This is a very evenly distributed class. All right, and then there's a four. There was a five. There were two sixes and an eight. Amazing, isn't it? And I left a little space over here. I, I did that for a reason. So there we have it. So we want to find the mean, the median, and the mode for these data set, or for this data set, or for these data. So the mean and the median. Well, we can come up with the mean and the median um, a couple ways. Uh, we could use a calculator, we could use StatCrunch, or we could 
well, that's, we could do it by hand, you know, if you want to get really fancy. <laughs> so now let's do the mode right now and get it over with the mode. Um, it's, it's a tough, tough call here. Um, but it's actually zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six zeros. So zero, and that's because it had the highest frequency. Zero did, that is. Now, if there were four zeros, just bear with me here. Suppose those first two students weren't there, and there were four zeros. Then actually, it's a three-way tie, and the mode would be one, two, and three, believe it or not which is one of the reasons the mode's not a very good measure of center. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> All right, now the mean and the median. I'm going to show you how to do this with a calculator and with StatCrunch. Either one will work. All right, so I'm going to start with StatCrunch because StatCrunch is nice and easy. Let me go to StatCrunch, and I'm going to put in our pet data. Now you can put in whatever data you have for your class. Whoops. That was a two. <laughs> I got too sure of myself there. And so you just enter all the data. I mean, you just want to be careful when you type it in that you type it carefully, right? So I have five ones, five twos, five threes. It looks like six zeros. I should be good. And I'm going to title this MAT133 pet data from chapter three. And I'll save it, and that way you can find it that way if you want to follow along on your own stat crunch. So if you search for 133 pet data, you'll be able to find this particular data set. And I just typed the ones in order because it was just easier for me to type them in order. Um, it wasn't strictly required. All right, so if I let my mouse hover, I'm not clicking on anything, but I'm just letting my mouse hover over stat like that. And then I scroll down or I move down to summary stats. And I want to summarize this column where everything is. So I'm going to go to summary stats, go over to columns and click on that columns. And it's going to say, okay, select the column. Well, obviously pet data. So I click on that, no problem. And down here, you have a whole variety of things you can tell it what you want it to do. So I want the mean. So I'm going to click on mean. And then I'm going to hold my control button down. I'm going to scroll through because median's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So if I hold the control button down and click median, it will find both of them for me. Nice, huh? And then you can see there's a whole bunch of other things it'll find for you. Um, let's see mode. Let me click on mode. There we go. So it'll find the mean, the median, and the mode. So I click compute. And there they are, right over there. So I have the mean, the median, and the mode. So we already knew the mode was zero, but it's nice to have it confirmed. The median is two and the mean is 2.269. Lovely. All right, so I'm gonna write those down. Now keep in mind, the units for all of these is pets, right? So it's 2.269 pets, two pets and zero pets. That's our unit, if you will, on this, in this case. All right, so the beautiful thing about the um, stat crunch is it's pretty easy to work with and pretty easy to type all your answers in. Now you can also do the same thing in a calculator under the stat menu, amazingly enough. So you click stat right there and you click number one, edit. And if you have old data in your columns, you get rid of them by going up with your up arrow and pressing clear and then clear, clear it all out make it all nice and fresh. So I'm going to L1, the first entry, and I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to sit here and type. All right, I'm going to pause and type all these in because it's a little bit slower actually on the calculator than it is on a computer. And then I'll be right back after I get all these numbers typed in correctly, hopefully. So you can see here at the very end, it tells me that number eight is list one, that's what the L stands for, because you're putting this all in as one list. So list one, number 26 is eight. And so list one, number 27 is blank. Great. So if I then go to stat, now edit was where you put in the data, you move to the right to calculate, and you pick number one, one variable statistics, because we're trying to find statistics about this list. Our list is in L1. And if you have anything in frequency list, F-R-E-Q, that's what they're standing for. Clear it out. You want it to be blank. Go down to calculate and press enter. And there you see it. The mean is at the very top. It's 2.269, right? And then you see the little arrow there. It means there's more there, but you have to hit the down arrow to see it. 
So if I scroll down with the down arrow, you can see the median is two. The calculator does not find the mode. The calculator only finds the mean and the median. So you can write whichever instructions you like for yourself, right, about how to find those, whichever way you like, right? All right, then we want to go make a dot plot of that particular, of what we found. And I also want to show where our median was in our data set really quickly. So the median was two. Now what's happening is there's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, right there. There's 12 right here. So that's the 12th data point. That's the 13th data point right there. Now, if you remember, there's 26 data points all together. So then there's 12 over here, see it? So the median is actually right here. The median is two because two plus two over two is two. So this is the median. It has 13 numbers this way and 13 numbers that way. And, and that's what I mean when I say the median is the middle number, right? That's why this number down here is two, right? Here, I'll even put it in green just so you guys can see it. Oh, if I can get my green pen to work, right? So it's two pets, right? And that's why. It's the halfway line between this two and this two, which is, of course, two. Now, if it was the halfway line between here, if it was between one and two, it would end up being 1.5, right? Because one plus two is three. Three divided by two is two, or is 1.5. So over here, though, two and two make four. Four divided by two is two. So the median is the middle spot, right? Half the data will be below it. Half the data will be above it. All right, now we're going to make a dot plot of our data, and we're going to show where the mean and the median and the mode were on our data points. So if you remember, we have six zeros. We had five ones. It's kind of a boring data set, <laughs> but it was real. This is what actually happened in this class. So five twos, oops, that was a little far over. Five threes, sorry about that. Then we had a four, a five, two sixes, and an eight. All right, sorry about that one being a little wobbly. It's supposed to be more straight vertical than that. All right, now the mode is the easiest to spot because the mode is zero. It's the highest dots, right? The highest frequency. Right? So because this dot is higher than all the rest, that's why zero is the mode. The median, what we just found, is the median is actually the halfway spot. So there's one, twos, two twos right here. There's the median. Right? It was the halfway spot between um, two, this two, and that two <laughs> right there. So there were two twos and then the rest of it. And now the mean, the mean is actually right around here. The mean is a balance point. So if you imagine this X axis down here is like um, a, a teeter totter, right? A seesaw. This is where you would put the fulcrum to get the two sides to balance. That's what the mean is. So the mean is the balance point. on the graph. The mode is the highest bar, so it's got the highest frequency. Highest or tallest bar, which means it has the highest frequency. And the median is the point that has half the dots below and half the dots above. And the balance point, think of that as like the fulcrum of a, of, it's technically of a lever or a lever um, or a teeter-totter, right? That's what you're thinking of it is. If, if this whole thing is a seesaw or like a scale, this is where you'd put the balance point to get these weights and these, this tail to balance out. Speaking of which, tail. There's a tail over here to the right. So this is completely skewed, right? 
because it has a tail to the right. Right, That eight and those sixes, for example, are really kind of pulling the data that way. And by the way, that's one of the reasons that's 2.269. It's because of these numbers over here. They're a little bit higher. So I did this a little bit out of order. I actually did this part right here <laughs> earlier because I knew I was going to have to. So the mean, the mode, and the median I did. So I did this part first and then the skewed right. But nevertheless, it's valuable information to know, right? Especially that that mean is the balance point. That's a big deal. So kind of keep that visual in your mind for later on.